Now you should follow suit and just get to the back People gon' talk either good or it's bad I see people gon' talk either good or it's bad Y'all, this is good I'm so hungry That's so good Oh my god Amen Bless my grace Welcome back if y'all new to my channel. Hello. So it's back to school season I want to do a little video called beware the Greek So when you think about fraternities and sororities when you see like the movies and you see the big huge Greek houses And they look like mansions and this like white people jumping up and down like mm, 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 All night those are Greek organizations But the D9 divine nine formerly known as the great eight black fraternities and sororities people of other races um, are members But these are founded by black people founded for black people in the advancement of the black community today We're gonna be talking about the D9 organizations. All right, okay just to get some things clear first say you're a freshman and you're about to enter college and you know nothing about Greek life there's a few things that you need to know just starting off okay I'm not a member of a Greek organization so I'm speaking in a very general sense but for the most part they were founded for the advancement and the betterment of the black community they are not and I repeat not a social clique with some cool moves and some cute outfits stop in the yard and Woo, front and center. That's a part of what they do, but that's not that's not at all, okay? Most importantly, this is a lifetime commitment. Most of them take them very seriously. Once a member, always a member. Today, we're gonna talk about the top five do's and the top five don'ts that you need to know before entering college. I'm gonna give y'all the real tea because check it out. I'm not affiliated with nobody, okay? Can't nobody come after me and snatch my letters. I don't have them. Yikes, what if I wanna actually become a member of a grad chapter whatever we'll talk about that later if you are interested in joining a d9 organization do not tell everybody don't tell anybody obviously that's a little difficult i mean more than likely you're going to tell someone but don't tell everybody one you don't want everybody in your business discretion is everything to these organizations you run around young 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 i want to be a part of this one it's not a good look what you should do go to their events speak to them in person be smooth about it you know what i'm saying it's all about this if they see you at the events, they obviously know you're interested. Duh. And talk to them on some normal stuff. Hey, you took this class. I was wondering, you know what I'm saying? Just feel them out so they can feel you out. Do not. I repeat, do not. By any means, I promise you, do not break the stroll line. Get him out. Your hands off me, dog. Well, you about to get your ass whooped. Just don't do it. Just be respectful. If you see them strolling, doing their little thing, you know, they dancing and stepping and hopping and shimmying and whatever it is that they do, just let them do what they do. And they practice hard on those routines, okay? Move out the way. There's more of them than it is of you. And some of these organizations get very, very, very aggressive. <sighs> do not appropriate Greek culture by utilizing symbols. I mean, sometimes on some campuses, it's really serious. Like, you can't even wear the same two colors that they wear. And calling y'all gang members. All I'm just saying is, y'all get a little upset that people wear certain colors together that y'all think y'all own. No offense. For example, when I was still in college, there was a girl. She took a picture. She posed a specific way. This specific pose is known to be affiliated with a specific sorority. When you see that pose, you know it's affiliated with that specific sorority. Now, whether she knew what she was doing or not is neither here nor there because you know what happened? She got dragged on social media. Everybody's commenting because they knew she wasn't a part of the organization. Now, I'm not saying that they bullied their girl, attacked the girl, I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble. All I'm saying is they treated her ass. And if you're not from Chicago, you know what treated means. They roasted her, heated, flamed, all of that. They did that to her and it was, it was over with. And she never became Greek. Just don't do it. Those symbols have meanings to them. It's the reason why they throwing up specific symbols. It's the reason why they say specific phrases. Now, you don't know those meanings because as a member of the organization, you get told secret, you get told, you know, I don't know, so I'm not a part of it. But there's a reason behind why they do everything that they do. It's kind of like a gang sign. If you walk into a specific hood and you repping a gang sign, you don't know why they throw that sign up. You not a part of that hood, you don't rep that state. That's not a part of your culture. That's not a part of your livelihood. So what you doing that for? I'm sorry I keep comparing y'all to gangs. Not gangs, everybody. With that being said, be mindful of your behavior at all times, especially when you out. They're not going to admit to this or tell you this, but they're always watching, especially if they know you interested. Say they peeped you at a few of their events throughout the semester, and now you at their party, and you twerk, twerk, twerk. They looking like, mm, I don't really know if she fits for our look. Guys, y'all a little different. They don't really care as much. They don't want you just out here sexually harassing women or things of that nature like you do have to be mindful of your behavior as well don't nobody want somebody that can potentially defame the name and drive them insane all fraternities and sororities have standards that they have to uphold and maintain and if you do not 
fit into the mold, you are deviating from what they represent. Therefore, you do not belong. Group of exclusivity. Don't be a fan. Don't be thirsty. Don't kiss nobody ass, G. I don't care what nobody say. Do not kiss nobody ass. Don't be thirsty. Have some self-respect. Have dignity. Be yourself. That's rule number one. That's the golden rule, honestly, for life. Nobody wants somebody that's trying too hard. Nobody wants anybody that's, please, please, is there anything that I can get for you? Now, I have a friend who's Greek. She was basically like, well, you know, I want somebody that's interested in my organization to kind of kiss my ass. I want to see how bad they really want it. Some may tell you that you do need to kiss ass. Honestly, you just kind of got to feel the vibe of the campus. You got to feel the vibe of the chapter. But my advice, and that's just life advice, don't kiss nobody ass. Maybe to you, you willing to bend over backwards for somebody just so you can be a part of the organization of what those letters. I don't care how bad you want to be a part of anything. If it's demeaning yourself, it's not worth it. And that's just my opinion. The fifth and final do and don't. Do not get taken advantage of. It's not even like Greeks that do this. It's upperclassmen. It's people that got popularity. Anybody that knows that they can take advantage of you and they have this mindset of I'm gonna get what I can get from somebody they're gonna do it most campuses have meal plans things of that nature that's how you eat a lot of the time upperclassmen Greeks they will target freshmen or target people that are interested in their organization and kind of say hey Sherry do you mind swiping me and my friends in all 15 of us you a freshman or something like that you interested in this organization or you want to just be in with the cool kids you know what I'm saying it's the upperclassmen you just like Sure, that's all your swipe for the whole week and now you can't eat and now you asking your roommate can she swipe you in or can he swipe you in? Goofy, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And don't finesse yourself. You do want to make a good impression, I will say that. So don't be stingy like, no. But at the same time, don't put yourself at a disadvantage because you trying to overextend yourself just to make a good impression. That's not worth it. And I promise you they probably will respect you if you say, hey, I could swipe a couple of y'all in but I don't got enough swipes for everybody. They gonna appreciate the few swipes that they can get best believe that a real person is gonna respect that period just do your research the biggest thing that from my friends who are Greek from my family members who are Greek is you have to know your why you have to know why you want to be a part of this organization you can't just want to wear a cute jacket that got some Greek letters on it put on a good little show and make some cute little strolls that's not all of this about if you don't know your why obviously you in it for the wrong reason you want what it can do for you but it's like what can you do for the organization you are adding to the organization that's why I was saying you got to be yourself you have to look at what can I bring to this organization? What can I add? What is unique about me that if I step into this organization and I become a member that the organization is going to be enhanced by the qualities that I bring? That's how I got to look at it. You are the prize. Do not get finessed, bro. Not for them. Not for anybody. That's all I have for you today. Just, you know, play it smooth. You know what I'm saying? Be cool. And don't do too much. That's lame. I think that's really all I gotta say. If I don't get attacked for this, that would be pretty bad. But I didn't say nothing bad to y'all. Like, I love y'all. Okay. Some more than others. Tune in for my next video. 